Hi and welcome back to David Pattinson's Accused Friends. I wanted to ask a hypothetical question, which is how would the government emulate a terrorist organisation? And people say, look David, the government's got enough on their hands right now. They don't need to uh, worry about emulating a terrorist organisation. And I'm no advocate of terror and I don't like terrorist organisations. But I'm asking a totally hypothetical question because it seems to me the government is going out of its way to emulate a terrorist organization and I'm sure it is just by accident but um, you know there surely needs to be some sort of legal threshold which if the government crosses it you know we need to maybe um, classify them as a terrorist organization and uh, you know I just want to find out what that threshold is. Let's just have a look at the events just of this past week and bear in mind we're only on Tuesday of this week so far. We have had the Prime Minister threaten to lock down the entire British population for only the second time in our entire history, the first time being in March of this year. Uh, totally unlawful to detain British citizens without trial, to presume them guilty of spreading a virus without charge and without the opportunity to defend themselves in court. We then have Pretty Patel, who is not attractive, come out and say if anyone wishes to protest this, that is going to be unlawful. You cannot protest in groups of more than two. Um, again, a total violation of the English Bill of Rights, which is the um, freedom to petition the king, freedom of association, freedom of movement, uh, total violations of the law. And then we have uh, Witty and Valance appearing in front of a uh, Commons committee and were asked directly, are you trying to frighten the British people? Are you trying to terrify the British people? They were producing a bunch of graphs showing, um, you know, mass deaths occurring imminently across our country. Uh, we had Prince William come out and say he covered up the fact he had the coronavirus uh, back in April because he did not want to um, spread fear among the British population and it was really good of him to not spread fear among the British population back in April but he is more than happy to spread fear among the population now in the month of November. Um, so you know how much fear and terror does the government have to spread before they become classified as a terrorist organization? I was speaking to a neighbor of mine just this afternoon and they were saying, David, you know, every time I speak on the, the turn on the TV, the government's filling me with fear. I'm afraid all the time. I'm afraid to turn on the news. I'm afraid to hear from anyone in the government because it, it gives me so much anxiety. It makes me feel so frightened. And then I got a call uh, just late today from someone saying, David, you know, the UK terror level has been raised. I said, well, of course it's been raised. You know, the government is out there terrorizing the British people so much, you know, the authorities have no choice but to raise the terror level. I mean, if the government weren't terrorizing the population, they could maybe drop it down a bit to like mild or, or not that serious. But when you're getting so much terror fermented through the media, to the British people that they should be in fear of their lives, they should be in fear of their jobs, they should be in fear of their welfare, they should be in fear of their safety, and most importantly, they should be in fear of losing their civil liberties. Um, you know, what do you expect is going to happen? Now, I hope um, everyone looks at this very closely. I remember the days of Tony Blair, and I remember him doing press conferences you know, pretty much every hour of every day talking about the war on terror, talking about examples of terrorism, talking about why we needed to fight the war on terror, why it was important to stand up to terrorism and root it out whenever you see it. So I'm just following, um, you know, his leadership example. I want to call out terrorism when I see it. I want to identify terrorist organizations when I see them. And I want to put a stop to it for our own safety. So please get back to me with the answer to the title of this video, what would the government have to do to be classified as a terrorist organisation? Thanks very much.